because when I shoot, I'm going to shoot that way, so it's not going to be loud to you. Welcome back to Hindsight Outdoors. In this 2 for 1 episode, we'll go rough grouse hunting in Minnesota, and then follow it up with prairie grouse in South Dakota. It's September, and you know what that means. Bird hunting season is finally here. While I had wanted to do some cooking videos during the off season, other things came up that required my time. I've been tying up loose ends since, and just didn't have the energy nor motivation to do any videos. It's been a couple years since I've hunted ruffed grouse in the north woods of Minnesota, so I decided to take a couple days off to go and walk the trails and take my mind off of things. It's beautiful country there, so I invited my wife to join me. I selected a couple of ruffed grouse management areas and booked a comfortable Airbnb nearby. I've not hunted these areas before, so I didn't know what to expect. Because when I shoot, I'm going to shoot that way, so it's not going to be loud to you. Well, I remember it still is loud, but... Yeah. Yeah. Go, go, go. I think I got him. Yeah. Go. Debber, Debber. 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 There were like four. 15 minutes in and we have our first bird contact. It was a family of four. The shot was just too close for the 20 gauge to spread. However, I was hopeful that it reflected the high drumming count in the spring. Unfortunately, it was not the case. Birds were scarce with an average of one bird contact for every two miles walked. In the hot weather, the GoPro kept heating up and shutting down, causing me to miss getting any more footage of bird contact. It was super frustrating. The weather was in the low 80s, but it was humid and took a toll on the dogs. Luckily, there are bodies of water for them to go cool off. We only walked six miles each day before calling it quits to get out of the heat. For the two days we were out there, I managed to bag three birds. When I got home, I discovered this Geico representative from the Northwoods had hitched a ride with us. Unfortunately, he hopped off too soon and I ran him over while backing up into my driveway. I hope his coverage was up to date. A few days later, it's South Dakota's prairie grouse opener. Once again, we're in the pure national grasslands. Birds were plentiful, but the high wind made it extremely difficult to approach the birds. The dogs just could not lock in any scent. 
My shooting was also horrendous. I was shooting Kent 2 and 3 quarters number 6 lead shots through an improved cylinder choke. I was hitting them, but these shots were just not enough to bring them down. The wind may have played a factor in their effectiveness. With Thanos running across the high wind, he bumped this bird. Here, I decided to check a honey hole. It's too early in the morning, so I didn't expect the birds to be near water yet. As I reached the crest of this hill, the morning sun was in my eyes. The first bird flushed straight into the sun. I saw the second bird flush and focused on him. Thinking I missed the first two shots, I refocused on the third bird. Thanos! I don't know what Thanos Dever, gave Dever. chase to, Dever. but when he returned to fetch the third bird, it turns out I did hit that second bird after all. <coughs> Good boy. Fetch. Fetch. Oh, I hit two. Alright. Two, I thought I only hit one. They're right in the sun, and I took this one in the sun. I don't know whether I hit it or not. I thought I missed. I thought I missed this guy. Apparently, I hit him. And this guy, there's a whole family here, right over the crest. Okay, we're on the board.
This bird wild flushed on my right and flew right over me. By the time I saw it, I rushed the shot. Ah! Here Thanos catches a sniff of scent, but could not locate the bird due to the high wind. These are sharp tails. With two birds in the bag, I put up Thanos and ran Jet. Jeff would go on to locate a bird and did a nice job pointing it. Unfortunately, I hit the bird but did not bring it down. I watched it hoping it would drop, but it just kept going. Here, Jet was upwind, so he missed the bird as he ran right past it. Luckily, I was able to bring it down. It took three shots, but it completed a three bird limit. Three shots. I looked at my watch and it's 9.48 a.m. I started the hunt at 7.30. Come. Here. Good boy. Here, boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good job. Come. 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 Jet. Come. Good boy. Good boy. Atta boy. Atta boy. Why it take us so long to get this guy? <laughs> <laughs> 